I bought this plane as part of a job lot. It's rusty, it's not a Norris, but it is quite rare and I need your help with it. Hello, welcome to the shed. My name is Stephen. Today I'm asking for your advice regarding this smoothing plane. I bought this locally as part of a uh, job lot and quite frankly I was hoping it was a Norris. However, when I got the old wire wool out and methylated spirits, it's revealed as a Matheson. This is what's called an infill plane. Um, as I say, it's in the style of the Norris uh, and infill basically means that it's a metal casing. In this case, I think it is dovetailed um, with an infill of a hardwood. This apparently makes for a smooth finish and a vibration free usage. We will see. These were made in Scotland in the early 20th century. So it's probably close to hundred years old. And to be honest, it shows. I'm keeping this one for my collection. So I want to do a really nice clean up job uh, and also fix any problems that it has. As I say, it does have some issues. Um, and that's where I need some advice from, hopefully from somebody who's restored infill planes before. It's not as easy as taking apart a Stanley where everything's metal, just take it apart and clean all the bits. We've got wood and metal mixed together here uh, and they're not easily separated. In fact, I don't want to separate them. So if you've refurbished an infill plane before, please stay tuned and give me some advice below. Thanks. Let's get over to the bench and I'll show you what we've got. First, a quick look at some of the other items I bought. I've got about uh, seven, I think, moulding planes, a couple of block planes, a little mini one, although it's split. Probably end up selling those. A couple of these. I've got, already got some of those, so I don't need that. And this rather interesting object, which is a Matheson spirit level. It's not just a spirit level, it's an adjustable spirit level. So I can set an angle of 45 degrees or whatever, presumably for setting up dados or I don't know stair stair rails that sort of thing done a bit of research cannot find one anywhere no reference to it on eBay or anything unless it's a prototype but it's an interesting little object if you can shed any light on what it is and where it comes from let me know just noticed on this that it's got a patent VR on there so presumably that's Victoria so that's pre 190 whatever she 1901 um yeah that's a nice piece of kit not sure what to do with it though it's also got the uh, crescent moon and star symbol which is the matheson logo more about that later okay so the first thing you will notice about this well apart from it being complete which is good is that the bun or the front knob it's called the bun is damaged some wood splintered off there, a little bit missing on the side. This profile is correct, uh, but we're missing some wood. So what should I do with that? I don't want to sand it down any further. Uh, I don't want to take anything away if I can help it. So I was thinking either clean it as it is and leave it with that uh, textured look, patina, or possibly add some resin to build it up slightly and then smooth it flat maybe a clear resin what do you think at least I'm adding to it rather than taking away then and it could be removed but I don't know that seems a bit extreme probably going to leave it as it is but just clean it let me know what you think okay let's pull it apart and I'll show you how it works brass screw take that right out Those clean up easy, nicely. Not a problem with that bit. This is on a hinge with a pin going through, which I won't be taking out. Uh, and then we have the cap iron and iron in a bit of a state, but we can bring that back. So that's going to end up going into, that screw's a bit knackered, that's going to end up going into the electrolysis tank for rust removal. Yep, it's rusty. I presume that says Matheson on it. 
Okay, so that's going in the electrolysis tank. That's easy, no problem deciding what to do with that. The brass, we can polish up. We'll have to do that in situ, but I think I can probably get to it. Now, when I used the wire wool and meths, I revealed this logo here, and it does actually say Matheson stamp there. I was hoping that would say Norris, but alas, it wasn't. Okay, it's fairly rusty. Uh, it could be cleaned up by hand. I was thinking of dipping the whole thing in the electrolysis tank. So I'm wondering if anyone's ever done that before with a plane that's got wooden infill. Am I going to damage the wood if I do that? It's going to get wet. It's going to get probably expand and probably do some damage. What do you think? Let me know down below. That's that one. Um, the bottom, I'm going to flatten that just using the old uh, sandpaper on a flat surface. So we haven't got a problem doing that. In fact, it doesn't actually leave that much metal that needs cleaning because that is wood. So it's really just the sides and these internal parts, which I'm not gonna be able to get to very easily. Okay, let me know what you think is the best thing to do with that. Okay, the other problem that we've got is that the way this works, as you tighten that screw, it's pushing the cap iron and iron against this block of wood. Now over time, that has pushed and broken this infill piece, which was two parts, it's just, it's broken the glue. So I don't know if you can see, I'm not sure if that was part of the handle. No, I think that's just where it was glued. So this was glued into here. And this glue here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but that is all glue there. I presume that's some kind of animal glue. So I need a good way of getting that rid of that. So that's the other bit of advice I need. What is the best way to remove old glue? Assuming this is a hundred year old plane and I guess that is animal glue. I've read that you can warm it up, but I don't really know to what temperature or how. I don't want to get it, you know, I'm obviously not going to put a blowtorch on it. Once I've done that, I can glue that back into position uh, and that'll be fine, no problem. But this wood here is set into the plane. I'm assuming that when I scrape that off, there are some dovetails. I think I can see one there, but I can't be 100% sure. So that's that. Um, now I haven't taken the handle off yet. I'll give that a go now. Okay, I tried to undo the screw and it's just broken in half straight away without any pressure at all. The handle's loose, but how the hell am I gonna get that out of there? <laughs> oh, nightmare. There is some splitting and cracking on the handle here. Well, that is in two pieces, so. And then that, I don't know if that was originally glued or just screwed into position. I've got no idea I'm gonna get that out of there without breaking that. I had to use my drill in the end to uh, drill off the top. And I've had to twist that through here. It's come out with a little bit of damage but this whole bit is obviously split, so I guess the handle was part of that. Why would it be drilled though? No. I'm not exactly sure where the separation between handle and body of the plane is. So again, if anyone's got any advice on that, that would be good. This is what we've got. And I'm not sure where, there seems to be a join here, but is that a join or is that a crack? or was the join here and that's just the glue that's split. I think the only solution is probably to glue the whole thing together. But first I've got to get rid of the old glue. Okay, so that's all my problems. Any advice? Gratefully received. Apart from that, the wood is actually in not bad condition and I think will clean up nicely. I'm just gonna to have to try and glue it all together again. I can take that out now. I think uh, somebody's basically glued that screw in. The screw's decayed and rusted. This is all rust here. So we're in a pretty poor shape there, to be honest. I think we can salvage it, but I don't know how I'm gonna get that out of there. Don't think I've got any chance. 
I think we might have to go with the glue option. Or drill it out. Yeah, I guess we could drill it out. Okay, there you go, there's my problems. Let me know what you think. Okay, so uh, thanks for sharing my problems. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, so the issues are the bun, do I leave it? That's just a sort of, what's the best thing to do? Uh, it's the glue, removing of the glue, the handle, obviously, what am I gonna do about that? Um, and what else was it? Uh, oh yeah, is it safe, do you think, to immerse in water? I'm thinking not now after seeing the state of the wood when I took the handle off. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, or should I just go with elbow grease and wire wool? Pretty, I think I pretty much know the answer to that one. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'll link to uh, a recent video I did about the Spears plane of air that I restored, um, and probably something else that's related as well. Thanks for watching, see you soon.